I hope you enjoy everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Solomon Alex giving my latest review on Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. I have episode 130. Episode 130. The Greedy Venomous Dragon. This episode was definitely one of the best overall. I should say story-wise because a lot happened. A whole lot happened. Anyway, let's get started. And things are not what you call easy right now. Uh, uh, Yuya, he's still going crazy even though he's pinned to a wall and the duel was stopped. Uh, he's still going crazy right now in his head. And uh, uh, the machine that, that turned all four you all four users together to become one, it's like at fifty percent. That means it's halfway done, and that means at least halfway way done to completing the project, completing you know, what they need to do. You know, that means Ray will soon be revived, and the four dimensions will become one again and become Arc Five. And the professor, you know, he just cuts, he just, he just leaves Renji behind like as an afterthought. Renji's the one trying to stop him. He just leaves him as an afterthought. It's pretty insane. Hey, it's pretty crazy, you know, overall. When you think about it, I feel, uh, you know, like right, right now that what you call the point of no return. So they have to seriously do something about this. Yes. Meanwhile, uh, you got, uh, you got Yugo, uh, uh, you got Yugo and Yuri, they're dueling, they're about to, um, whoever wins the act will become one with the other, and basically it's it's a clash of wills. Who wants it more, and who's willing to that? Because right, even because Zork right now they're being possessed by the will to destroy. You know it's pretty crazy. Hey, uh, you get you show he meets up with Edo no, and Kaido. Oh Edo, uh, Edo, you know, you know seeing you show again. You know after what they've been through back in the Exceeds dimension and. And you sure tells them about what, how Zork, about who he really is, about he's the avatar of destruction, he's the will of destruction, he destroyed made the world, and how he turned the world in, how, and made it what it is, you know, overall. Uh, uh, but, you know, he doesn't seem convinced that Yuya is a demon, and overall, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't seem convinced, like, uh, after, what, after what Yuya went through, bringing, stopping the dimension, stopping what happened in Heartland, and saving the people of the Exceeds Dimension and turning all the people, people basically he saved, he said he saved the Exceeds Dimension, but it's, but the people are still, you know, being saved. They still, they need, they still need, you know, uh, save the cards, save the people who are turned to the cards. But you know, but Edo, he's not giving up, saying that, saying that do, yeah, he understands what dueling used for. That dueling is a tool to bring smiles to people's faces, not as a as a way of war. Basically. He's completely turned around, and all because of Yuya, because Yuya taught him that, you know, overall. Anyway, uh, anyway, hey, they managed to get into the, into the duel. They know they have to stop Yugo and Yuri before and be, before they become one, and then and Zork is, like, halfway revived. I mean, you know, it's pretty intense, you know, overall, you know, when you think about it. Uh, it's pretty crazy, you know, everything that's happening right now, uh, up to this moment, you know. It's something you gotta consider, you know, right now. Um, uh, this duel was definitely epic, you know, overall. Seeing how well, well, how how they how they handle this, because both Yugo and Yuri have their dragons out, you know. It's gonna be hard to beat them. They get the intrusion penalty, you know, overall. Kite, you know, he takes, I, you know, you know, he does his best. You know, he makes the first, it's the first move, you know, tries to summon out his, you know, his Galaxy Eye Cipher Dragon, you know. Or uh, he try Yugo. He tries to stop him almost every time. Uh, you know, uh, and you have Edo. He also does it. You know, same thing. He summons out his dystopia guy. You know, Destiny Hero dystopia guy. However, you know it's gonna be hard for them because because yeah, right now they're being affected by Zork's influence. You know, and Yuri, Harry and Harry and Yugo, they're be, they're gonna fight harder than ever. You know, overall, like uh, he has what you call. Like he has a uh, Yugo has burning Sonic on his side, you know. Overall, and he's he's like trying to try to stop him. Also making sure that he increases his monster and making sure he, his clearing his effects, you know, to neutralize their monster and to use their effect. And then even use a card called Speed Roy so he Roy Sonic shoot and Speed Roy Shuriken can blade. You know, it's pretty intense. That does damage equal to to the to the difference in when a monster is attacking when it's are lowered. You know. Because they have the intrusion penalty, Edo and Kaito, because they have the intrusion penalty, their life points are what you call very, very low, are lower right now, right now, you know. We also get to learn that Sora, he met Edo before, Edo asked him, as soon as you, 
Hey, from the academy, you were a soldier under my command, but but Sora said no. So they refused, refused because he wanted to do things by himself. He didn't want to be a, what you call part of a group. Because remember, Sora was kind of a loner before he met Yuya and became friends with him and thought, and started following him around. That's something you gotta consider. That's something I that's something I understand. You know, overall, well, you know, well, when you think about it, it makes a lot of sense. You know, overall, uh, this duel went well. You know, Kaito. You know. Oh, he took everything that Yugo had and and tried to stop Yugo and Yuri from becoming one. So did Edo, you know. You know, Kaito even cemented somehow his how his galaxy and his Neo Galaxy I Sapphire Dragon, but without not without not without taking a big hit first. Right? Like even using a Cypher Super Projection to take the dragons away. You know, it worked. It, it, it by by taking away their apes monsters, you know, it it, it, it was very clever. But because of that, you know, they and they have a backup plan, they, and you know, overall, it's very interesting the way they turn around. Like, uh, like you go, you know, he manages to take back his clearing and and summon, man, summon out, you know, uh, summon out Crystal Wing. You know, overall, you see, he, see, seeing these new monsters, you know, seeing him use his uh, it was uh, Speedroid, uh, a Fly Magnet or something, you know, i uh, seeing, and when he summoned out Clearwing, it's definitely very impressive. Crystal Wing, you know, um, it's very hard seeing these two, dr two, two, these duelists clash with each other is definitely very good, uh, very impressive, you know. However, Edo is trying to some way trying to appeal to him. Like for example, those two trying to remind him about Rin, you know. Overall, uh, Rin, you know, they went back and forth overall, uh, say, saying that hey, do you, that Zork, uh, you that you you guys are like you, yeah, that means that you, hey, that. And you share the same dream. The dual thing isn't, you know, a tool to, to hurt people. is to bring smiles. Um, but you go, it's like, stop talking nonsense. Remember, they're all crazy right now. They're, these guys are, like, right now not in their heads. It's, it's pretty intense right now. And these guys are literally, if they go, and if you push them any farther, they will hurt you. You know, overall. Well, that's something you got to consider. Uh, but Edo, you know, he, he even, even though he takes a big hit and... And the way they countered each other's moves, it was definitely very impressive. And this was almost like a tag, it was almost like, you know, tag team, but, you know, you're, you go and you read, they don't like each other, you know. They don't like each other. They just want um, to beat them until they can get back to their duel, you know, overall. Uh, but, uh, but Edo, you know, he even summons out his uh, new dystopia monk, monster, Dust, no, no, Dusty, uh, Dusty Utopia, Dusty Utopia guy, and managed to appeal to you to, the Yugo, and finally he got through to Yugo. You know, he got he fought, he got through to to him. You know, the the best way he can by reminding him of what he's here for. He's here for Rin, and you know, it's definitely very 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 interesting. You know, I, I really like it. I really like the summary of how this went. You know how went. You know overall. However, he could. However, Yuri. You know, his eyes are still going because I I say out of all the all those all the all the all the, all the you boys, I think you. Really represents the darkest parts of Zork, you know, overall. The most powerful and the most dangerous, because Star Venom could easily become the, is the most powerful of the four dragons, individually, because of his unique powers, overall. You know, especially when, actually when, when it came to the end of, so like, for example, you, he, he uses his, uh, super, super polymerization, super fusion, uh, to, I mean, to, uh, take back his Star Venom. Uh, Venom and something on greeting Venom Fusion Dragon. Adam, this dragon it, it, it looks even bigger and badder than other than Star Venom. Like uh, it has 30, 3300 attack points. His attacks were decreased by five hundred. He has the ability to not only new, to negate a monster attack points for negate a monster special ability, but to his attack points to zero. And when you destroy it, oh yeah, it, it, it destroys all the monsters. Which is with it, and also managed to deal attack points equal to those damage equal to its attack point to those monsters' attack points to their controllers, and they all have high-level monsters on the field right now. However, Edo he managed to have one last backup plan. He, using his monster Dust Utop Dusk Utopia guy, he manages to save a one monster from being destroyed. All right, that monster is Crystal Wing, because now that Yugo is back to normal, he's gonna he relate all his hopes and all his all his dreams onto, onto Yugo, saving him, hoping that he will bring an end to this. If, if that's true, then true, that means that, that, that Yugo 
go, you know, now that he's back to normal, now that he's back to himself, he may be able to beat Yuri, but when he beats him, he may absorb him. It means that Yuri will be inside of Yugo. That means that this could go either way, which means that they, right now they have a very big problem on their hands. They don't, uh, uh, so if they do this right, they could come out of it. If they don't, that means it's all over. It is all over, you know, overall, which is something to uh, consider when uh, uh, I mean, you think about it. Yeah, anyway, that's all, all I gotta say. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Thank you. Looks like the next episode is gonna be Rara uh, versus Randy, because that's uh, it's very weird when you think about it. it you see, it said Rara. I think he he's doing this because he wants to make sure that uh, you know that Leo you know that Leo gets his way. Because by bringing back Ray, he can bring the four dimensions back into one, but also prevent Zork's revival. Because we because nobody wants Zork back. They don't want him back because he destroyed the world the first time. They don't want, and they don't want it to happen again, which means there's going to be some infighting within the Lancers. Now, I feel sorry for Renji knowing he has to fight him, uh, for Renji, and saying that he should listen to the voice of the voice of, 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 of Ray, her true, his true older sister. Sister. All right, you know, that's something you got to consider. Anyway, that's all I got to say. Hope you enjoyed this. I think this episode was sick. I really liked it and overall. I, but I wish there was more to it, you know. Uh, no more to it, but unfortunately, that's all we have time for. I hope you enjoyed today's watching. This is Southern Landscape, my latest you new on Yu Gi Oh! Arc 5 episode 130. I'm out. Peace. See you later, guys. Nice, and wish me luck. Bye.